What's up? I, I, I almost just called you guys squirrels. Um, what's up, squirrelgers? It's Nerp here. Sorry about the absence of videos the past couple of days. Let's get back into it today. And uh, still doing very bad in ranked. I just can't find a deck that's um, being consistent for me. Hopefully, uh, I can do better later this week. But today, we're not going to stress ourselves out with rank. We're going to play Judgment. And um, a few Judgment uh, videos ago, I asked you guys to suggest for me challenges I can do in Judgment or just in random parts of the game that will make it hard for me because, uh, um, honestly, Judgment is it's fun. But, I mean, I do get a lot of like 5-0 runs and a lot of stuff, so I'm looking for a, another challenge. And somebody uh, suggested that I... So I have no freedom over my picks, and I just went down the row and only picked from one row. So that I had no freedom over my picks, and um, then I had to make a deck out of it. And I actually did that. Uh, you can see the video. Uh, it's a few Judgment episodes ago, and I almost won. I actually could have won. I missed Lethal later in the game, so it was a really close match. And um, here's a different kind of Judgment challenge today, uh, suggested by Danatron. Instead of restricting my picks, I'm going to restrict my deck. So I'll have full power over what I draft. Um, I can I just draft normally, but at the end, I don't make a 30 card deck. I have to use every scroll I picked. So it's going to be a 45 scroll deck. As you know, um, decks are better when they have the least amount of scrolls they're allowed to have. So that's why you don't that's why in ranked and stuff, you don't see decks that have over 50 scrolls. And Judgment will be the same, and also I'll probably have a lot of dead cards, because I doubt I'm going to have 45, like, scrolls from one faction. So, uh, it should be fun. Uh, this challenge should be, it's, I think it's going to be a lot easier than the one where I had to just have random scrolls from one line. I think this should be a lot easier. So hopefully that works out. So also, if you're hearing random banging, that's because my younger sister is playing basketball outside. And, uh... The hoop is like connected to the house and it's almost touching this room. So I heard, I'm sure you guys just heard that bang, so sorry about that. Um, but I wanted to get a video out today because I haven't had one in a few days. So not not a too great start to this draft. No real strong creature shouting at me. Um, not much synergy either. I think I'll just take... Uh, It's probably going to be a multi-resource deck, so the clock library might not be bad. Or Binding Root I do like. No, actually, I'm going to go with a Binding Root. I think Binding Root, uh, I like the removal and Judgment like that. Now, this row is not too good either. Um, here, I'll take the Crown of Strength. I think that's going to be a good enchantment. Uh, I'm not really getting any good creatures here. I mean, I had some one-drops up there, but, I mean, one-drops are not that great. I'll take the Rosa Bean Potion here. Here, Sister of the Bear. Okay. Here, I will take the Bloodline Taint. Right now, I'm just taking the best scrolls I can find. Uh, Focus. Now, there's Curse, Presence, and a Slayer of Siege, and I have a Bloodline Taint. That would be too bad. Um, I could have Sister of the Bear and a Binding Root. I think I'll take the Sister of the Bear here, because nothing else on the row is shouting at me. There's a Brother of the Wolf, so... There is decent growth stuff, so I'm tempted to take the bear paw. And I will take the bear paw. Oh, back to back Brothers of the Wolf. I thought going to be good. Here, I could take the pushback. I do have a decent amount of order. But then I can, I can go for more curse. Um, uh, I mean, order is probably a more likely faction that I go into in Splash. Let's just take the order. Let's take the pushback. That can really screw up uh, matches against for my opponents. A pother too is pretty good. So I'll take both brothers. The pother. Okay, not too bad. I can, I can just I can try to stay within order and growth. Hopefully I can do that and not have just have a dual color deck with forty five scrolls. We'll see. So I can go Gaunt Defender here, uh, Transposition, and then Asian Knight or Sister of the Bear. So, and the Relaros, that's good. Um, Squire. Alright, so now let's just look at what we have here. We have only we have three growth creatures, one order creature. We have, we have Morse Order Scrolls. 
I think our curve for order and growth look like really similar because we have four, uh, two four drops. Actually, we have three four drops for growth and only one, two four drops for order. These we're gonna have, I'm counting this Relaros. So, do I take a third? Aging Knight is, has better value than such to the bear, so I think I'll take the Aging Knight. I already have three growth four drops. It'd be nice to have another strong guy like that, but um, it, would nice, it would be good to get into the curve with the Aging Knight, so I'll take that. Royal Spearman here, and a Wing Soldier, and a Squire, so we definitely have a lot of order stuff now. Took the Relaross, obviously, and there's a Nog down here in the new orders. Here, that gives me energy, so I'm not going to take that, I'll take the Squire. Brother the Wolf is a really creature-heavy deck, I start, I'm starting to want some more spells. So I might take the new orders, actually, over the Nog, we'll see. Here, I will take the Royal Spearman, I don't have any three drops yet. So I'll take the Royal Spearman. Um, let's see. In a 45 scroll deck, I'm gonna want about 20, to a little bit more than 20 creatures, probably around 20 creatures. So I guess we do have to take the. We already have a lot of order spells, so I guess we don't need the new orders. Yeah, I'd rather just take the Nog, I guess. And now, uh, Brother of the Wolf. This gives me energy. This one we want, we want growth. So I can full can full Granger. Um, okay, now we got some good stuff. So, getting good utility stuff here. Earthen Mirth. I don't have any Relentless or one Countdown units right now. But, Earthen Mirth would definitely be a great utility scroll. Now, Effigy the Queen would be really good to put down if I notice my opponent is like energy or something. Earthen Testament. I do have like, some enchantments. I have Crown of Strength. Earthen Mirth. See so either one of these two. I think I should take the Effigy of the Queen. The removal could be a could be like like could be a strong counter to my deck. So I'll take the Effigy. And now we already have a transmission. I think flip just the to just get things out of the way is gonna be really nice. So I'll take the flip. Now Stagheart. And the, there's a Ducal skirmish on that. That's really good. Stag heart, uh, yeah, not gonna put that earthen mirth in the ducal skirmish room. Could go to town. Scrolls like stag heart aren't that good in judgment because you really need like multiple copies of them to work. And for that reason, I'll take the caller's man. I could take banner of ordinance to put down lingering spells, but really, the only lingering spell I'm scared of is halls of Amasa, and the chances of my opponent having that in judgment are slim. So I'll take the caller's man. Maybe I can end the game early. Ragged Wolf, I'll take over the Frostbeard, just the haste is amazing, especially if I have like Earthen Mirth and stuff. Uh, now definitely the Deepa Skirmisher. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, yeah, you hear my sister playing basketball, the phone ringing, a lot of commotion right now. Alright. So, I can take the Horn of Ages or the Plate Armor. Honestly... Both are going to be pretty nice scrolls. The plate armor would be really good for defense, which I might need. I do have the Gallant Defender for some nice uh, blockage. Horn of Ages. We already have a lot of flips in this. So. Alright. <laughs> um, I will... I'm really dwelling too hard on this one. I'll just take the plate armor because I see an Earthworm Mystic down here. So that's another enchantment. Honestly, uh, the Horn of Ages probably would have screwed with uh, my opponent more, but whatever. Here, I'll just take songs because these aren't on color. Earthborn Mystic Overgrounds of the Fallen. Or Earthborn Mystic is great. Um, focus on other good utility scrolls, especially if that Relentless guy. Royal Inspiration because it's the only order scroll here. And also, I think I have a, I have a bunch of soldiers, and I do have... Um, a knight. Rolleross is my knight, so it's going to be good if I can draw him a lot. Now, call back here. Eventual Vetter here over the Earthbound. There's a va Vanguard there. That's nice. And this gives me, this actually gives me order. So these are, this is going pretty well, I think. Uh, and now I have to make a choice here. Um, Wing Soldier or Gusty. I don't really go into... I don't think I go over four growth right now. I think my highest is four cost and growth. 
Let me see. Growth, my highest is four costs, yeah. Order, I go to five, but I have more two drops. Um, hmm. Well, I'll probably take the Wings Charger here. Up here, I don't have the Imperial or the Ducal Infantryman. I don't know if I need to the Imperial. So I do only, I'm, actually I do have a good amount of five drops because I'm gonna take this Wings Charger. Uh, let's take the Wing Soldier because I haven't, I'm still only at uh, four growth. So that if I can only go to, uh, to if, I, if I only have to sack for growth twice and then go straight into like wild, that'd be awesome. So I'll go for the Wing Soldier. Now, I have so many two drops, don't I? Yeah, I have so many two drops. Wing Soldier, Effigy, Squire. Yeah, I have a lot of two drops. I mean, we have a lot of um, two cost spells actually. But am I really gonna get an opportunity to Imperial resources? That's what I'm concerned about. It could be good. Yeah, let's take it. I mean, I might need. It turns out I might actually need the healing on the idol for like if the, I'm in like Dark Lumage or something like that. So that won't be too bad. Wing Charge here, a nice, nice chunky creature. Now here, I don't know, Lava Tall gives me magic armor regeneration. I could put that on the Earthborn Mystic. Uh another roasted bean potion. That's uh that's really good. It's my second one of those. Now Alright, I have to use every scroll here. I don't make a deck out of 30 scrolls. Uh I'll trap is just on color. Do I only have No, I just realized Crap, I just realized. Ah, oh, it's annoying. I just realized because I drafted the Bloodline Taint, the whole wild curve is going to be off because I have to put the Bloodline Taint in the deck. Oh, I just realized that. I wonder if there's a growth or order scroll on that row. If there wasn't, then I'm not mad at myself, but if there's a growth or order scroll on that row, then now for me to go into wild, I have to sack for decay once. Actually, I meant to sack for DK multiple times. That's really, that hurts a lot. I just realized that sucks. Now, Nognas or Squire. I'm gonna stay with the faction I have more. Oh, actually, this is gonna be growth. Yeah, let's just take the thing that gives growth. Wing Spear over the Zealot. Another Earthen Mirth, and finish it off a Wetland Ranger. So, this would be, oh man, if, if I just didn't have that one that one uh, decay scroll that'd be perfect so I have to add all the scrolls and I'm gonna that's it's really annoying so I think this is gonna be a pretty good deck I think I can uh, if I can get five wins with a 45 uh, scroll judgment deck that would be awesome so let's call this 45 cards thanks Danatron for the suggestion I think it should be a lot of fun so let's see if I can find a match quick man I'll have to look back at the video to see if there was a growth scroll or an order scroll in the row where I took the bloodline taint. Having that one decay scroll in the deck is just really... I was, I was almost tempted to just leave it out and just have a 44 scroll deck, but that's not what the challenge was. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about here. Like, wild, you can't sack her wild resource until you have um, at least one of each each uh, faction in your deck and because I have one decay scroll it means that it's a tri-color deck so I'll have to sacrifice for that once so I'll be back when a match is found okay find a match let's see if you could win cancer that will uh, hurt my chances of winning I wonder if he's gonna notice that it says I have 45 scrolls now if he notices Alright, um, I'll draw my because I don't see, like, I want to get some, like, order two drops. Uh, not quite. But I do have the Duke Skirmisher right now, so I'm actually going to go straight for order. I think that's going to be a better idea. Ugh, that stupid bloodline taint, god damn it. <laughs> it's just, like, 
It's like almost like I have to play without wild. I think it's still worth it to go for the decay and then the wild though. It should be. Uh, he's energy, so I think the Lavatol might be good on it. Let's go to the, the early sister of the bear. Should I just go straight into wild? No, it's gonna take too long. I'm just gonna go straight for order and hope I can draw some more. I, I mean, my most more scrolls in the deck are order than uh, other stuff. Binding root, I really like. Let's get rid of the Elan Vital because it's not like we see poison, so the healing every turn might not be that useful. I want to keep the other enchantments. Let's go straight forward. I'll try to get the Ducal Skirmisher out next turn. Forge, that's not good. Puts it back there, he wants to protect it. And, ooh, Rosa Bean Potion. I'm, should I just bank on the fa uh, hoping he doesn't have anything, any way to purify or push back this Duke Skirmer and try to buff it up? I might try to do that. Get it out there up there so maybe i can go for a focus and destroy that i could go over the rosa bean potion focus but even a rosa bean potion focus wouldn't be enough to take out both of these units if they were in front of each other overdrive okay that's gonna get a lot of gun autos and now i can't really break in there so so far this has not gone according to plan and if that if that one decay scroll wasn't there i think I think this would be a different story. Uh, let's go ahead and sacrifice the bear paw for. I'm probably gonna need to like draw a pother for scrolls. Roller us. That's good. That's a good draw. I think our Skirmisher is more important than our Roller Ross, though, especially because we can draw the Roller Ross with that other scroll we have. So I'll put Roller Ross in front. Alright, at least that Forge is going to kill itself. And let's hope he doesn't have, like, hard removal for my important guys right there. So, if I can draw a Pother this turn, that would be, that would be ideal. Actually, I have Pothers and Flip. I have a Pother and a Flip in this deck, I believe. But, I mean, the high chances of you drawing is not that high. Uh, as usually is in Judgment, because it's a 45 scroll deck, not a 30 scroll deck. I wanted to save the Binding Root to, like, really kind of just, like, nullify a strong unit he plays, but I might use it on his uh, one cost crossbowman if it's about to attack. Oh, I think I'll have to use it on that Storm Runner. If I can predict where that Storm Runner is going to attack every turn, that would be just perfect. And I just have to pray he doesn't have like transpositions or roasted bean potions for the Storm Runner. Okay, so he moves away like that and goes like that. I think I'm. Oh, okay, so I can take out this. Where are you facing like that? Um. I think I want a binding root that. Ugh, this is such a hard choice. I, I could use the Ragged Wolf to get rid of the Warding Stone. I'm gonna take some damage here. That's the problem. Oh god, he's gonna get a filled board. Well. Let's just do it then. Unfortunately, our Royal Spurn will have to sacrifice level without even doing spiky damage because the Crossman will be able to kill it. So, let's Binding Root you. And unfortunately, I'll have to boom my Roller Ross into uh, range with the, with the Skirmisher. I mean, into the range of the Storm Runner. Actually, no, he's not in the range of the Storm Runner. Never mind. I'm kind of stupid. And next turn, I can actually Roasted Bean Potion on the Skirmisher, and those are spells, so that guy gets higher attack, and I can use, I can use the, the 
Ragged Wolf to get rid of this. Oh no. That. I needed that Storm Runner to live. I kind of just assumed he was going to live. That was bad. I don't have any other Relentless unit in the deck. Um. I can't even sacrifice a wild. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Let's see. Um. I'm gonna get rid of the charger for scrolls. Fetchy the queen. I mean, I don't know what kind of spells he has. Oh, his spore's gonna be so full of gun on him, but on his forge. This. It's tough. I kind of want to. I, I definitely want to save my rival for the warding stone. Okay, so I'll go like. I'll go like this. And then. Effigy the Queen should be decent. I could roast a bean potion to kill you. But I'm not going to. He could sacrifice himself like that. I'll put you here. You might be able to steal a kill. Okay. So I got the Ragged Wolf back. So that's kind of like using the Warding Stone against him almost. Because I'm getting my hasted unit back. Uh, I think we might actually... We, I mean, we're still in this game. Because he'll just have a Border Gun Automatons. I mean, that's not a huge deal for us. Hopefully he has no way to buff this uh, gun on response attack and get rid of the Dural Spearman. Moving like that. So he's sacrificing his uh, Wing Soldier for my Royal Spearman. Not bad because, I mean, he's losing, what, a 2-drop and he's destroying my 3-drop. And he is dealing 2 damage to this. This will finally go down. Okay. So how many gun automatons did I spawn? Like four. Okay. And I have to hope he has no like transpositions for this storm runner. Or Rosa Bean potions or new orders, all that stuff. Right binder decreases. I move by two. Oh, okay, so Rosa Bean potions and um and and uh, new orders wouldn't really work with him. You would need a Transposition. Okay, he's thinking through what to do here. I'm not sure. Do I go for wild or not? Wing sorcerers. Okay. And uh, blessing face. So he's getting rid of that. It's a little annoying. Not a huge deal. It's just one cost. And that will finally go away. Lucky us. Lucky us. Uh, get rid of this focus. No creature. I needed a creature. Well, what am I supposed to do here? I don't think it's worth wasting a recipe. I think I just end my turn. There's not much I can do here. I'm just giving up. I'll just, like, just give up my effigy the queen. I need the, uh, you know what I need now? I need the gallant defender. I need to draw the gallant defender. That is what might be able to save me. I'll have to top deck that. It's almost like I'm at disadvantage because I'm playing a multi-resource deck without wild. Okay. And he is a skirmisher. Okay. Now thought trap. That might be good. It could let me move around here. Ugh. So, so too many things attacking. Um, let me think. A ragged wolf. Oh, the problem is, I just, 
Yeah, this is not this is not going well. I need to I'm just gonna sacrifice scrolls and if I don't draw a gallant defender, I'm just gonna surrender. Okay, GG. So I don't think we had a good uh, starting hand that match. And I think the luck didn't go quite our way, so we didn't have a good curve. So we'll try it again. I probably can't throw again, but I don't mind. I don't think his deck was that strong. I think it's just that he got that early forge overdrive. We can't expect that again. I assume this is going to be cancer again because we found a match so quickly. I don't know. Maybe he left the cubes and didn't want to face me again. Come on. Join a match, please. Uh, well, came up right again. There we go. Heck. I'm going second. And this will probably be a mulligan hand. I guess we couldn't complain too much about our hand last game because that skirmish is probably the most important squirrel in our deck because we have a lot of ways to its attack with the uh, Earth and Mirth. I wish that if there was one more relentless unit in this deck, it would be really, really good. Okay, so, uh, turn one Dust Runner. It's not good to see. Do I go start for growth this time? No, I think I, I want to go for order first because I have more order scrolls. Ugh. <sighs> I guess I'll go for order and play the woodland memorial. I don't know. And try to get like a wetland ranger out with the earth and mirth. Wetland ranger out with earth and mirth might be good. So let's see. Hopefully Heck doesn't have a turn two play. H three C K. Um. Let's see. What do I want to keep? Let's get rid of the Brother of the Wolf. Put it right there in case you want to. I don't, why would we want to protect that? I don't know. Okay, so I could Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull if something that has four health that I want to get rid of. I might actually do that this turn. I mean, Ragged Wolf Focus. Um, this is tough. I need the ramp, so I think I'm going to do it actually. So I'm going to have, what, two growth and two order? So. Earth and Mirth is so good. Let's get rid of the... We'll just get rid of the Earth and Mirth. He's probably wondering why I'm not sacrificing for a while. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. But unfortunately, I might not have a play next turn and we might give up our Ragged Wolf. I usually don't do multiple matches in the judgment run, but I feel like last match did not really really show the full potential of this deck. So I want to get another match in. I think it I think it uh counts to win the challenge if at least if you can win at least one match with the deck. I mean for all I can still get five wins with this deck. Um hmm. Let's just... Let's get rid of the ranger. Because I can't go for wild, so that's the problem. I don't know, should I go for decay? So I can start going for wild? It's just it's just such a loss in tempo. Okay, Snarls. We'll take down those idols fast. Let's 
keep a uh, strong creature. Let's get the roller us out. Okay, so let's draw a skirmisher. Snargers, snarls have massive five attack. They can two down. They can two shot idols. Not that good though, because if you want them to attack a lot, you can't really make big spells plays. Uh oh, forge. We don't like forges. <laughs> Forges and judgment are really awesome. So much value. Uh, I'll take the vanguard over the wing charger. Unfortunately, I had to draw them both. I wish I only drew one of them. I'll put the, you know, I'm going to move down. I know I'm opening up my vanguards. So if he has a spark or a mash in it, he can easily destroy it. But I really don't have a choice. If I don't, I'm just going to open myself up to just losing the game from those snorkels pinging down the idols. He only has two scrolls. I mean, the chances he can kill it are not that high. We'll see. I'm gonna be a little upset if I can't get a win with this deck. I really thought I really thought it was a good deck. That reversal really screwed us over last match. I think if the skirmisher survives, we could have pulled out a win. Because I had so many focuses and Rosabine potions, and I had the this Arbalister with the skirmisher. Nope. Dude, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's a spell. Oh, don't tell me Fury. Oh my god, if he had a Fury, that would have been a board clear. And he would have taken out this idol. Okay, so I guess the Bustin' Haste was a mistake. But, I mean... I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, uh... <laughs> there's not much I can do here. I kind of need, like, a Gallant Defender and, like, other stuff. Okay, whatever, let's see what we get. Flip... I mean, flip is like fine there, I guess. So I'll flip. I have to get. I have to kill this, this thing. So I have to flip this. Um, let's move it as far away from me as possible. Unfortunately, I don't have a roasted bean potion right now. That'd be good. And I'll have to protect this with the ventral better. So I'm losing, losing that eventual letter there, but I think the Vanguard is much more important. Hopefully, he doesn't have like a spark or something to get rid of that eventual letter. Okay, so he moves up like that. Let's see. Problem is, if he just goes for, I'm not sure if I can. It's possible for me to defend them. These Snargles have four health too, so the Vanguard can't even. I mean, if I could use it to draw a spell. Wait, did he move with this guy yet? If he did, I'm surprised because I think he should probably destroy my eventual letter. I don't know. Or maybe he just wants to cover. Oh, God, Stormrunner. So it looks like he's just going for the center. Idol. I mean, yeah, actually, that's probably a good move by him. Whew. And a Copper Automaton. Uh oh. He's going to win this game fast. Ah, oh, I need that Skirmisher. Watch this Rosa Bean Potion so I can get rid of that and move down. We're sacrificing our eventual letter to that Dust Runner. We're just sacrificing too many units just to keep our own units alive. But like I said, there's no other choice. You know, this looks like I'm going to lose. Man. I think I would have easily, like, I'm not, even, I'm not kidding, I think I would have easily gotten five wins with this deck if I drafted a growth or order scroll instead of that bloodline taint on turn like three or four. 
Because then I would be able to use wild. Right now I can't use wild because I don't have, because I have to sacrifice for decay first. I mean, I just don't think it's worth it to lose an entire turn and a scroll just to use wild. And all the time, especially with uh, him rushing my idols like this with five attacks and angles. Okay. Let's see. Royal Inspiration. Well, that won't help because... Uh, the, the, yeah, that won't help. Do I even have a structure in the deck? Yeah, I do, actually. I have that memorial. I didn't even get the memorial I could play. And you can move. Oh, God. I don't know. What do I do? I have to keep my units alive. Let's run away. We're still, we can still get taken down by that storm runner. Wow. I really thought I can get one I could have gotten one win with this deck. It's a pretty darn good deck. Just the wild system prohibits me from from using it. Because I have one decay scroll in the deck. Okay, the sea trap. I'm, I might actually just lose like next turn. I mean, I I thought maybe because I had these cross ramp memorials, um, I could get it get get away that using wild. Turns out I can't. Well, actually, <laughs> I don't think he's using wild, so I guess I can't complain too much. I don't know. I don't know really what I'm. I don't think I faced. I don't know. I don't know. I have to stop using excuses. Huh, he doesn't move up. Okay. Okay. Having sacked uh, the Wetland Ranger and the um, Ducal Skirmisher, I think it's safe to sacrifice the Earth and Earth. Or no, I, I sacrificed the Royal Inspiration, it doesn't do anything. So let's do that. And I did not draw what I needed to draw. Well, I'm gonna move that anyways. I'm losing. I I'm losing two creatures right here. Well, I'm losing one creature. But I can't just leave these idols. There's that bloodline taint. Curse you, bloodline taint. Get it, curse. Is that game? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not game yet, but if he has like like a random darkling in the deck, maybe that's why he did it. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. An outs top deck. Some. Some order stuff. These copper automatons hurt me a lot. Because I had to sacrifice guys for them. Okay. Not too bad. It's actually not too bad. I, uh. I might. I'm actually in this. I think I might be able to survive. Yo, we gotta go for more growth. Callback. I wish this guy's attack got increased. Yeah, this is just. I don't think I'm able, able to destroy Storm Runner, so I'm just gonna take it and cross my fingers. He doesn't have stuff to destroy me if he doesn't have stuff to destroy me that i might be okay 
So let's get rid of the callback. Callback actually might be okay. Let's get rid of the Earth and Mirth. Yeah. And let's just ramp up a little bit more. I want to get the increased attack, but I'm putting these guys in the same thing then. Whatever. I'll do what I have to do. And just stick a... That can... Go call back. I can play it again. No, I can't play it again. I don't have the resources. Okay, so... If he has no way of damaging that vanguard for one damage... Or... Then I could actually come back. Come on. Let's cross our fingers here. Okay, so does he have, if he's a machinated, I'm just not, oh god, that's just as good as machinated. Okay. Well, at least I'll be able to kill that thing. And he didn't have another play. That's good. Okay. I guess I just played Brother the Wolf. I can't risk just sacrificing for scrolls. And I'm just losing units to his gun automaton. Okay. Not dead yet. I've destroyed the Storm Runner, his biggest threat. I'm one of the Snargles. Well, if I have a lot of resources now, now it's time to start drawing big creatures. Uh, but my creatures aren't strong enough to absorb five, five attack. At least I'm playing Desperation. Um, increases Snargles countdown. Okay, so you're gonna be left with two. Up. Oh. Well, there goes the Storm Runner. Ah, this is really depressing. I really thought I could win with this deck. I think it was a pretty darn good deck. You guys saw it. I don't think I played badly though. I don't think there's anything I could have done to win these games. Um. Do I bother just hoping to draw like a growth scroll? I'll paw there. The structure movie just gets in this way a little bit. And they're good. I gotta. There. Good draw. Okay, so, hmm, oh, I'm infiltrated, and another snarkle. Let's go to the transpo. Yeah, there, that's a, I mean, I mean, I was going to say that's a good draw, but is it really a good draw? I don't think so. Because I still get blown to bits. Eh. I guess I'm pretty salty today. I don't. I don't usually get salty over judgment. Judgment 
don't really care if I win or lose. Yeah. I think I'm just overall a little more unhappy when I'm playing scrolls lately because I keep losing in ranked. I haven't really had uh, had had so much trouble ever in ranked getting back up. Okay. Um, roasted bean. At least I'm also sure you. Uh, thought trap. I actually want to keep. Let's get rid of the bear paw. Okay. Let's thought trap this. So you won't you won't do anything to me for a long time. But I still have to deal with a three attack and a four attack. I can't save I can't save everybody. I have to roast a bean potion, I think. No, I can't. Oh god. Then I'm losing those guys. Okay, let's just lose the Earthworm Mystic then. Because the brothers attack him next turn. Was gun auto on he played. So many gun autos. Maybe he'll play a spell. Miss Snurgle won't attack. So I've played armor. Plate armor wouldn't be too bad. My spiky guys really rendered useless. Because this I'm playing a deck with a lot of range stuff. Okay. Let's I think I have to get rid of the Oculus Cannon. That is a must. So let's get rid of the Crown of Strength. Binding root. Let's plate armor you. So And then I'll have to. I guess I'll binding root you. No. I'm the problem. I just don't like giving up creatures every single turn. Okay. I'm very close to losing again. Binding root. Yeah, that top idol is almost down. In fact, it's gonna be at it's gonna be at one. 
just like the other idols. All three, <laughs> all three of my last idols are gonna be at one, uh, one health. It's funny. Okay. That's not good. Too many cover automatons. And snorkels. Alright, at least I'm able to actually destroy that cover so that's Actually, that's not a huge deal for me. Let's see. Elan Vital Binding Root. Uh. Problem is, I'm never gonna be like out of the situation because this is just gonna continue to happen. The snorkel is gonna, the forge is gonna t continue to pump these guys out. So to not lose, I guess I have to go like this, and then I go like this, and then I binding root you so you can't move up and kill me. And that's the only way I can delay losing for another turn. Her imperial resources would heal my idols a little bit. Okay. Uh oh. We don't like to see Storm Runner. Push back. Push back does not mean destroy. I think that's gonna be game. Oh, down defender, not game yet. Almost game. I don't know why I didn't surrender. I should really just surrender this. Finally, game. GGWP, well played. Eh, that wasn't that, that did not go as I wanted. Two losses, really. That's annoying. Two losses with that deck. I really, I thought I could have gotten like five wins after I made it. I didn't take into account that I wouldn't be able to use wild because of that one decay scroll. Well, whatever. Whew. Thank you for the gold. Okay, guys. Well, that'll be it for me today. Thank you for watching. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And hopefully I get my ranked mojo back. So I'll see you next time.